Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms XF. Last time, we learned that we were blasted into the past, and uh, Clarissa's mother, Melissa, is still alive. Doesn't that mean that if we mess with history, we could screw up the future? In other words, actions we t may take here have consequences that reach all the way into our time, completely changing the present. Yeah, it's called a time parakeet. I believe the term is time paradox, Levin. Oh yeah, sorry, Teach. Whatever it's called, have we already done several things that could have significant consequences? As long as we're present in this timeline, there's no way we could avoid changing things. Every breath we take affects this world. Even if we were so determined to preserve the future that we ended our own lives, our corpses would remain, altering history nonetheless. Well, if it's a no-win situation, shouldn't we just carry on the way that we were before? Let's go back and look for something productive to do. Will we ever be able to return to our own time? wonder. Maybe if we return to the present, I'll already have made a choice about which one I like best. Hear that, Levin? Just standing around won't get us anywhere. So, Clarissa, why don't we go visit your mother in the town where she's staying? Yeah. Is Levin seriously, like, talking about Clarissa versus Alexia? That's his main issue? That's really stupid. <laughs> there she is. Ah, oh, you kept your promise. Here's your award. Hope it comes in handy. Ooh, nice, thank you. So, you said that you were investigating ruins here. Is there some sort of interesting research you're working on? At the moment, I'm pursuing something called the Yggdrasil system. I'm hoping I'll find it here. The Yggdrasil system? Yep. Yeah. Sounds like the name of some old ruin or something, doesn't it? But it turns out that's not it at all. I'm still not quite sure exactly what it is, but I've come to suspect it's one of a number of lost technologies from an ancient civilization. There are some records that point to a special site called the Legacy Ruins, which is supposed to hold all those technologies, but... Sorry, you're probably bored out of your mind, huh? I do tend to get carried away when I talk about my research. No, not at all. I'm actually quite interested in this sort of thing. Would you mind continuing? Really? Well, sure. All number of lost technologies are supposed to be sealed away in the Legacy Ruins, but there's a problem with that. See? I've searched high and low across Vilgaia, and there just aren't any ruins or buildings of any sort that fit the description. Yet these legacy ruins pop up throughout old records and oral accounts. And every now and then someone manages to excavate remnants of one of the technologies that are supposed to be housed in the legacy ruins. Relics of an ancient civilization excavated from ruins that don't seem to exist? In the last decade or two, there have been a lot of discoveries happening here, in Elysius. So I figured that if I came here, I'd be bound to find some sort of clue. Don't worry, Melissa. I know you'll find your Yggdrasil system. I'll certainly be rooting for you. Thanks. When I tell most people about the Yggdrasil system, they usually call me a swindler or a wacko. To have someone believe me, and even root for me, it sends a little tingle down my spine, you know? Well, that's nice. This game seems to take a lot of uh, references from Wild Arms 3 with the uh, Yggdrasil system, with the Lombardia, Illsvale, I believe, was also in 3, but I know for a fact it was in 2 and 4. By the way, do you mind if I ask you something? It's nothing major, really, but... Oh, what is it? What's bothering you? Well, this is kind of hard to say, but... Have you bathed at all recently? Oh, don't get me wrong. I understand that it's hard life out there for drifters, and that personal hygiene can't be a top priority. No, it's not like that. There's a perfectly good reason for this. On our way here, I fell into this really nasty mud puddle, and I can't get this smell off my clothes. Is that what happened? Yes, that's exactly what happened. So, you decided to just keep walking around in awful smelling clothes? Well, yeah, I guess I did. Well then, I guess I'll have to give you a little bonus on top of your award. How about I buy, buy you a new outfit? Oh, please do. Where'd you come from? Please, Labyrinthia, I don't need your help right now. And I also don't need you in DERs either, you're useless. Clarissa seems to have some strange aversion to changing her clothes. That's not- Don't say things like that! My daughter Clarissa is the same way. She wants to wear the same thing every single day. I understand exactly how you must feel. Hey, don't you go getting all chummy with her. I have to admit, I saw an outfit the other day that I thought was really cute, though I'm a bit too old for it myself. Indeed. Girls just love those cute frilly clothes no matter how old they get. You're just loving this, aren't you? Go ahead. Keep talking like I'm not even here. Don't mind me. Have your fun. 
I don't see why you shouldn't accept her offer. Melissa seems intent on pampering you, so why not let her? That's right. Just relax and leave everything to us. Well, in that case, it's all right, I guess. I'll pick something out for you. Don't worry. I'll make sure it's something spectacular. Thank you. That's a good girl. Nice and easy. Now that we've agreed, shall we begin shopping? Of course, I'd be delighted to come along and help Clarissa try on her new clothes. I knew she was going to say that. Well then, let's see how it looks. I know I'm the one who picked it out, but I can't wait to see. Why exactly is our presence required? Actually, I helped a bit with the tailoring. I'm eager to see how it turned out myself. That's right. You were the one who helped make the costume that Princess Alexia wore at the Guardian Temple, weren't you? Is that so surprising? Sewing is one of the many talents that well-prepared soldiers are expected to bring to the battlefield. Perhaps I could offer you my services, if you're so inclined. Would it be so bad to wear something with a little color from time to time? Do you ever change your own clothes, your highness? Personally, I'm quite fond of these clothes. Do you find them unbecoming on me, Levin? No, no, not at all. They look great on you. I mean, I love the way you look in the dresses you wore around the castle, but this is really great too. Really? Thank you, Levin. I think your clothes suit you well too. That ribbon-shaped tigers is really adorable. Adorable? So that's how Princess Alexia sees me. Talk about a rude awakening. I wonder how Clarissa sees me. Probably the same way, actually. The more I think about it, the more confused I get. My brain is stuck in an endless loop here. Thank you all for being so patient. It's my honor to present to you the new Clarissa. Uh, seriously? She looks retarded. Yeah. <laughs> she really doesn't even look like she changed her clothes. She just changed her hair. That's that. That's where my focus goes. Those awful ponytails. They look terrible. Uh, really? You like that, Alexia? I think she looks ridiculous. Er, I'm not a fan. If it wasn't for me, you'd have picked something just as boring as the last one. You mustn't be afraid to be noticed, Clarissa. You really are enjoying this, aren't you? You're just having all sorts of fun with me today. Hey, come on. I chose something wonderful for you. This is exactly how I'd dress my own daughter if she were older, you know? Well, is that all you have to say? Thank you. I really appreciate this. I'll treasure it always. Well, you're certainly welcome. Well, let's get on out of here. Hey, wait up! Melissa? Good. I was afraid that you've already left town. Is something wrong? Everything's fine. I was just hoping I could hire you for one more job. I was planning to return to the capital to collect my daughter. Would you be willing to escort me there? Your daughter? You don't need to concern yourself with us, Clarissa. Whatever you want to do is fine. Thank you, Felius. Everyone. Melissa, we accept. Great. Elysius is a pretty peaceful country, but that doesn't make it safe after all. I'll be counting on you. We won't let you down. Hey, I've been meaning to tell you. You've heard that Elysius has recently begun restricting the use of arm access points, right? Well, it turns out the access point in this town won't be removed until the end of the month. After they finish investigating the new mine shaft. If you guys haven't done a download recently, why not check it out? There might be some good classes there. Oh, cool. We get more classes? Nice! Access point. That's right. The access points in our own time may be tainted with the threat of the black arms, but in this era, there shouldn't be anything to worry about. So by using this, we can download new classes to use whenever we want. Yeah, I hope that there are some classes that we haven't already downloaded. Sweet! Get Night Stalker Emulator, which is insane! Extremist, which is really good, and the High Cavalier class. They're all amazing! Hmm, these compositional waveforms, they could only belong to someone from Eluboria, and these bio-patterns. <laughs> it's been a while, but you finally made it, eh, Felius? Oh, how long you've made me wait, till my wits abandoned me, till my body writhed with anticipation. I scattered access points around Filgaia like a ring of chimes just to find you. And you finally wrong one. 
Now, if I could only catch you, the Lombardi will be mine! At last, I'll be able to settle this grudge you and those fools have left me with. I shall have my revenge. Yes, this is revenge, Felius! This body won't be serviceable for much longer. I'll make a new one for our reunion. I'll look forward to meeting you as Vice Height. <laughs> So long as we're on the same world, I will find you, and I will catch you, no matter where you are. You won't escape. You can't escape, because you're mine! <laughs> well, that guy's not creepy at all. Well, let's head on inside the uh, Path of the Unjust. Why not? Is that Edna's carriage? We sure have seen a lot of carriages lately. They're all heading in the same direction as us. You haven't heard? There's gonna be a parade in the capital. A parade? Yep, the founding day parade. Is it that season now? Apparently the king himself will be attending and he'll be accompanied by both of the princesses. I hear the princess royal is almost three and the second princess has just had her first birthday. All of these carriages are probably carrying visitors who are coming to see the parade or merchants who've come to see the sell to the spectators. What is it, Tony? Oh, I see what you smell. Oh, these guys. Hold up a minute. Haven't we met before? Yeah, like five minutes ago in the last battle. Why do they have to run us into us at a time like this? I don't suppose you two have reformed yourselves and found legitimate work as festival merchants. What's going on here? Ah, Brother Luvlia. Someone you know? Because if so, that would mean your faces are known as well. Yeah, sorry about that. Eliminate them. I will not allow our plans to be blown over some chance meeting. But those guys, they call themselves Chevrolet Blanc, and they're really tough. Chevrolet Blanc? That was the Order of Knights that found Elysius, was it not? Eh, it hardly matters. If you aren't capable of killing them, then I'll kill the two of you myself. If you don't like that plan, take care of them here and now. I'm going on ahead. I dare not be late. Just in case, I'll leave several of my men with you. But I warn you again, do not fail me. Uh, okay, Raiden. Guess we're gonna kill you! We don't have much of a choice! Man, talk about being caught between a rock and a hard place. How'd this happen to us? We used to be noblemen soldiers! You know what they say about cornered rats, so don't get cocky, anyone. Wait, wait, what? So, we're the Cornered Rats? How rude! You're gonna pay for that! Fall back to somewhere safe, Melissa. Right, I'll stay out of your way. Can we save Melissa and defeat these bandits? Find out next time and let's play Wild Arms XF!